What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No Premium, and I'm here to give you an episode of the Sunday Sermon. First off, happy, happy Sunday. Hopefully it was blessed and filled with family and laughter and cheer and joy, because this week is a short week, and it's a week that we're thankful for, right? We are thankful for the market being open. <laughs> uh, no, in all seriousness, we have Thanksgiving on Thursday. Okay, but what happened last week had an entire, what they call a balance week, call it a range week, et cetera, et cetera, right? What do you expect after a huge trend, three trend days up, then straight sideways action, right? Straight sideways action. Now, call me crazy, okay? But this also looks like a big old bull flag, right? But we'll get right on into that first thing, okay? What are we going to be looking for? Market data. Okay, what can be coming out this week? Well, as, uh, as much as you probably want it to be a light week, but sh with a short week, it's not. What do we have right here? Shh, look at these two down here. They just snuck them in at the very bottom. Like, uh, they think Thursday's off. Friday's a short day. We'll just fucking squeeze these two down in here with fucking Daddy P and the FMOC minutes. Okay, so really, look, Dally on Monday. Really nothing. Tuesday, literally nothing. Then Wednesday is uh, fuck your face up. Okay, just kidding. But as in all seriousness, it is uh, Pal Speaks. Okay, Brookings Institution. Okay, non-FOMC minutes related, but still he's speaking. Do you think, knowing he's speaking and minutes are coming out, this is going to be a fucking chop fest in here more than likely? Okie dokie. We all know the minutes are not the meeting. Okay, but the minutes are about the last meeting. OK, so we'll want to see what they have to say about that. So we know how to play this. I'll come out on Tuesday and I'll tell you exactly how we're going to play it. Just like I do every every single night before on the two minute drill. OK, uh, but, you know, really, guys, jobless claims in here as well. Manufacturing PM, uh, PMI services, PMI, University of Michigan's Consumer Sentiment Index and five year expe inflation expectation. This will be a quite of a doozy of a day um, on Wednesday. Okay, on Wednesday, obviously, guys, Thursday is Thanksgiving. Um, do not get in front of the computer. Enjoy your family because the market's closed. Okay, Friday, short day. Short day, market closes at 1. 1 or one thirty. Shit, I should check. It's a it's like a happy day or whatever. Uh, just know it, it closes way early. It's 1 or one thirty. Let me double check. If you know in the comments, please comment. Please comment. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 1. 30 ish time between one and one thirty. The best thing to do is just to not fucking trade it, too. That's that'd be nice, right? That'd be cool too. It's just take it off. Take them both off. Fuck it. Okay. Take them both off. Okay. Short week. Typically, uh seasonality says up this week, but who knows? Who fucking knows? Right? Who knows? On to the chart. Nice, nice. Head and uh, inverse head and shoulders played out, right? Cup and handle played out. Now we've got this nice. Bull flag looking thingamabobber, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, call it what you want, right? That's what I see. That looks like a nice bull flag after this huge flag pull. How do you measure the move from here? Take the bottom of the flag stick, take it up to the top. Okay, so that's 370 to 402. And then you say, okay, we can rip out from there another 30 points. <laughs> 420, that would be insane. It would be insane. Why? It would blow through the 200 MA we have here. It would also blow through this huge down trend line we have from the COVID highs, right? All the way down. So that's my still my price target, guys. Still what I'm looking at. Okay. I am looking at where? First off, got to get through 403. Okay. Then the 200 MA. This might so perfectly fucking match up here at the 403, <laughs> like this week, right? So perfectly. Let's just see, right? <clears throat> Let's see where it matches up. I still think this trend line here, right, at 408 to 410, right, because we're only at four days this week. I think one, two, three, four candlesticks can at least get one touch up here. One touch. Okay, after pretty much balancing or basing or ranging all week after this huge move, which is, it's healthy. Remember, we talked about having that digestion of the move and not giving it back. We never got under 390, so rally lives. Rally lives, okay? Rally's still on. Rally not canceled, okay? So what are we expecting for this week? Obviously, 400 huge levels still haven't had a daily close above it. Does that change this week? I don't know. Maybe. 
Okay. 390 is still a huge level to the downside. That's the 10 point range we're in until we're not. Okay. So respect both of those levels. First touch 390 bounced us out pretty much 10 points. Okay. If you're, if you're counting the pre-market as well, um, right on, um, uh, on spy here. Okay. So look, plan for next week. I would long 390 again. Okay. I would long 390, 100%. Okay, under 390, see 385 here. Okay, we already know that's a level. Okay, likely along again. Why? Because 20 MA. 20 MA is going to be updating, right? It's going to be here on 385. My open blue heart. What else do we have right here? See this guy's uh, solid green light? Super trend. Okay, super trend. Perfect. I'm still long 390. 400 is short, but look, we've knocked there a few times now, right? We've knocked there a few times. One of the times we're going to have to go through. Okay, so I don't love taking a short there unless I see a setup, right? I see a huge hit their head pre-market in the morning on the open fail with a nice reversal candle at the top or a candle that shows we're going to come down. Okay, I more so love this 402, 403 for a short. Initial touch there, short, because we also have the 200 MA uh, uh, above. Okay, now through the 200 MA, we get into this gap bill at 403, takes us to 408 and this down trend line here, right? Oh, it's ever so matching up so beautifully. So I'm still watching for that. You know, I've been screaming 200 fucking MA since right here. Since 370, I've been screaming it. Fuck, do we get there this week or do they balance us out on a short week? I don't know. I don't know, but I do know this. 390 is long. Okay. And 400 is a short, but I love 4023 more. 402, 403, I love more. Okay. 402, 403, I love more. Okay. So you got those levels, right? Really simple. 390. Okay. 395 is like your middle pivot. Once you get above it, probably go test the higher part of the range. Get below it, might go test a little bit lower. Okay. 385 below. Okay. Under that, 380. Okay. 380. Um, as you can see here, we had the 20 cross the 50, very bullish. We had the 821 EMA crossover. This is the yellow and red line crossover. Everything is pointing up. We are basing out or flagging out above these MAs. It is all pointing for a move for continuation higher. Okay. Above 380 is by the dip, especially above 390 by the dip. Okay. So if we know the trend is up, the better trade is always to buy at a solid support, right? Buy at a solid support, all right? Um, and if we know that, then above we have 400, 403, whatever this opens up at, 404, 405, maybe 403, I don't know. 408 is gap fill up, all righty, and then you have this trend line here. So 410 above, 410, 411. That's what I'm looking for this week. Okay. That is what I'm looking for this week. Now, if for some fucking reason we just go rip your goddamn heart out higher, after 412 is pretty much so called a fair, fair value. Get, we call it whatever. You just call this all sellers in here. So buyers are going to rip this shit right on back up. Okay. Because if they were short over here and they're still short. Okay, they'll have to buy it back, likely, because they're going to want to be break even at least. You can see how huge this level is. All right, that's what we got to mark. 420, red line in there. Okay, red line. If for some reason we get up there, that's a short as well. I don't know if we will. I don't think we will. But just if for some reason, you have to be prepared for everything. Remember the flagpole up to the flag. The flagpole is the length of what the next flag of the rip higher will be out of the consolidation. Okay. That's just technical analysis 101. So if it's 375 to 400, it's 25 points, 25 points on the breakout from 400. Okay. Pretty much takes us to 420 or and above. Go figure. Go figure. Still a cap to be filled at 421. Okay. You guys all see this here. 421. Bing bong. We're just going to extend it out. See that highlighted section in there, right? That's the beginning of the gap fill. What happens when you get to the gap fill? You short it. What it was, we shorted this 403 gap fill was good for how many points? 390. That's 13 points. 
First knock never lets you through. Remember that. So second knock would be a short, but okay. But if we sit there and base, then you're going to want to flip your hips long, especially if we do a support or resistance support flip. So let's say we go and try 403. Then we back test 399 area, right? We back test 399 area and it holds. Flip your goddamn hips and get long. All right. Because we're likely going to go test that gap again. All right. Uh, 200 MA, obviously, we know 405, 404, probably at open. Maybe 403 would be perfect 403 for another rejection, right? 408 is gap fill up, 411, 10. Uh, right here will be this trend line down, depending if we get there. And then through that goes Ripper Magoo. Yeah, how the fuck are you? Two, three, four, excuse me, 420. I want to talk about a higher time frame chart, too, guys. You guys should all be doing this. Okay, you should all be doing this. What do we have here? Spinning top, right? This is spinning top. That's what it is. Is that the sign of a reversal candle? It is possible. It is possible, okay? But the the daily chart suggests it's more of a flag, even though it's a spinning top. It's 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 an indecision candle. It could it could could mark a top. That doesn't mean right. That doesn't mean we don't go a little, maybe possibly a little higher on the next weekly candle, but maybe finish down. Still have a reversal, right? So look for that. And why I say that is this. Okay. Um, we all know, right, that. Okay, 1126, excuse me, 1125. 1125, the year before. Okay, Black Friday, when the market was only open for like three hours, it's the 26th. Let's take a peek back to the 26th. If you guys remember, if you have any sort of a memory, which it's okay if you don't, because I don't, so I had to go back and reference it. But I remember the day after Thanksgiving was very red. Short day, very red. We sold off like a son of a bitch. Okay, it was bad. But let's take a peek when that was. Okay, the week of what? I think it was here. This was the week. 1129 week. Big selly, red, 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 red week. Okay, let's go to the day, right? Didn't we say it was the 25th? Zoom out. I have to go all the way back here. See this candle right here? You see this little old lonely candle right here? See this one? That's the 26th. We had a 369 gap down. Seven point gap down. Okay. To a huge, I'll zoom this out. Okay, we went up a little bit. Then we came down, 362, down 358. And we sold all day. Now, granted, it's like a three-hour day. But just know that. Okay, just know that our market participants taking off early that week, early that day. I don't know. They're taking the day off altogether. Are they out on vacation already that week? I don't know. Market participation is likely going to be low. Do we get a melt up? Uh, uh, seasonality says this be beginning of this week is bullish, but we don't care what seasonality says. We just care what the fucking chart says. All right. So know that, guys. All right. Let me give you levels and get you on your way. Look. 390, underneath 390, that's a long, but if we get underneath it, you're going to want to look at 385, okay? Or where this 20 MA, green dotted, or the 21 EMA, right? Red line. See where those open up. Want to see where maybe this super trend opens up as well. <laughs> Okie dokie, underneath 385, 380, underneath 380, rally canceled. It's over. Bye-bye. See you later, okay? Upside, okay, four. Hundred. I'd look at this previous day's low as a level as well. 393, 395, 6 is a level in here, then 400 above. Okay, 400 above takes us to 402, the recent high, 402, 403 area up in here, then 20, then 200 MA. Okay, is this green, blue, whatever dotted line? Whatever, some comment what color that would be, so I don't fuck it up. What color is that? I don't know. Someone tell me. Okay. Uh, that dotted line here at 405 right now, likely to come down to 404, maybe to 403, get beginning of the gap. But wouldn't that, the stars just fucking align there. Above that, 408. Okay, 408 takes us to wherever this trend line is. And then at 411 above, if for some fucking reason we go crazy, look at 41920. All right, guys, that is all I got for you. Okay, no daddy pal is on Wednesday. Lots of consumer data in the morning. Okay, and then look, at the FOMC minutes on Wednesday as well. Guys, hope you have an amazing 
rest of your Sunday. If you're taking the week off, fucking enjoy it. But if you're going to be a degenerate like me, then I'll see you every single day this week for the two minute drill. Try not to do any fucking thing stupid. Any fucking thing stupid. That was fucking stupid. Don't do anything stupid. I'll see you guys bright and early. Peace.